Hi Firsties, I am posting this video for the students that were not able to join our live video so you can see what we did earlier today um, during our live video and our seed lesson that we studied. So stick with me while I read this story about how we grow seeds and then I will show you how we can do this at home. So remember the name of books is called the title and the title of this book is how a seed grows remember that the people that write books are called authors and the author of this book is helen j jordan and then the people that draw pictures in books are called illustrators and the illustrator for this book is loretta kropinski Gonna move the camera a little bit closer to us here so you all can see the pictures in our story. A seed is a little plant. It is a plant that has not started to grow. Apple trees and daisies, carrots and corn, clover and wheat all grow from seeds. Here is a tree seed. Someday, it will be a tree like this. Here is a flower seed. Someday, it will be a flower like this. Some seeds grow slowly. These are the seeds of an oak tree. See, we have acorns here. So acorns become oak trees. An oak tree grows very, very slowly. Suppose you planted an oak tree seed. You would be a father or a mother or even a grandfather or a grandmother and the oak tree would still be growing. Some seeds grow fast. This is a bean seed. See the bean seed here? It grows very fast. It grows so fast that it becomes a bean plant in just a few weeks. You can plant bean seeds yourself. We used pole beans. You can use pole beans, bush beans, or lima beans. You can plant the seeds in eggshells, or tin cans, or old cups, or little flower pots. Be sure that your containers have holes in the bottom. We used eggshells. We used a pencil to make holes in the eggshells. We filled 12 eggshells with soil like this. We made a hole in the soil with a finger like this. When you have made a hole in the soil, plant a bean seed in it. Plant one seed in each hole. Cover the seed with soil. Sprinkle the soil carefully with a little water. Number the shells. Write the number one on the first shell. Put the number two on the next shell. Keep going until all of the shells are numbered from one to 12. Put all the egg shells in an egg carton. Put the carton in sunlight on a windowsill. Some bean seeds grow faster than others. Our seeds began to grow in three days. Your beans may take a little longer. You won't be able to see your seeds growing yet. They start to grow under the soil where you can't see them. Water your seeds a little every day. The water soaks into the seeds. The seeds begin to grow. More water soaks into the seeds. The seeds get fatter and fatter. Wait for three days and then dig up seed number one. It may be soft. It may be fat. Maybe it will look the same as it did before. Soon the seed will grow so fat that the skin will pop off. In two more days, dig up seed number two. Maybe it will look different now. Maybe the skin of the seed will be loose.
Now a root starts to grow. The root grows from one side of the bean seed. The root pushes down into the soil, down and down. Dig up seed number three. Can you see the root? Does it look like this? If you do not see a root, wait for another day, then dig up seed four. After a few more days, dig up seed number five. Something else is happening. Little roots will be growing from the big root. They look like tiny white hairs. They are called root hairs. Day after day, the roots and root hairs push down into the soil. Day after day, the bean seeds are pushed up. The soil is pushed aside. Watch your seeds. Soon you will see pale shoots push through the soil. A shoot is the beginning of a green plant. A shoot grows toward the sun. Watch your seeds. Some may have come through the ground. Some may have broken open. Maybe some of your seeds have not started to grow. How many are growing? Count them. The bean seeds grow fast. The shoots turn green. The leaves come next. Now your bean seeds are bean plants. They look like this. How many of your bean seeds are bean plants? A seed needs many things to grow. It needs soil and water and sun. If a seed has all these things, it will grow into a plant. It will grow into the same kind of plant that it came from. An apple tree, or a daisy, or carrots, or corn. It will grow into clover, or it will grow into a bean plant like the ones you planted. All right, that is the end of our story. All right, firsties. Now, we are going to plant our beans. Now, I'm not going to use eggshells for our beans, but I will be using an egg carton, kind of like the one that we used for our addition egg carton. So I've got my egg carton here. The first step I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this top part off. And that's going to be the base that we're going to use. So I'm going to cut right along here to separate the top from my egg carton. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Then I am going to cut off this little flap. We don't need this flap either. So same thing. I'm just going to cut right along here to separate this little flap that we don't need. Now I have this old uh, yogurt container and I have some soil inside here. Oops, just spilled a little. But you can see, I'm gonna lift up the video. We have some soil. And that is going to fill up each of these holes in our egg carton where our seeds will be growing. But before I do that, one thing I didn't cover in the live video was we need to make sure that we poke holes in the bottom of each of these so our roots can come through. So I'm just going to do two right now on the video. And I'll do the rest later. So I'm just using my scissors. This is something that you probably want your parents to help you with. I don't think our students should probably be using scissors to poke these holes. Um, you might want to use a pencil or a pen to help poke a hole as well. That would also work. So, just twisting my scissor around. So I've got two holes there in these two um, areas that we're going to grow our bean seeds in. So I'm just going to put a little bit of soil in each of these. 
Don't need too much. I would also recommend that you do this outside. I'm making a little bit of a mess with our dirt on my table, but I'm going to clean it up afterwards. So now you can see... Turn this around. Now you can see that I have some soil in the pots, and I'm just going to use my pinky to make a little hole in here. It doesn't have to be very big. If you want your bean to be close to the top, if you choose to do this at home. And then we're going to put a bean in each hole. And then cover it up. Alright, really simple, right? So then after that, I'm going to add a little bit of water to our two pods here. And then I will continue to post videos and, or sorry, not videos. I will continue to post pictures to update you all on what's going on with our beans. So just like they did in our story, we're going to dig them up after a few days and see if our beans have grown a little bit or see if they've grown a root. And eventually they should grow root hairs and then they'll grow a stem. So while you're at home, if you can, go ahead and do this activity. Or if not, I'm going to post videos. So, or sorry, I'm going to post pictures so you all can see what's happening with my beans or our class beans that I'm growing at home here. So should be really exciting and I hope you all enjoy. Um, I will be posting more live videos, so today, if you weren't able to join, I'll be posting more live videos after spring break, and you can join those videos. So, if I don't talk to you before, have a great Easter, and uh, keep growing your brains.